Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, we're diving into the exciting world of AI chatbots and building our very own Discord bot using a cool project called Chatcord. Have you ever wanted to have an AI assistant right inside your Discord server? Chatcord makes it super easy to set up a chatbot that can chat with your community, answer questions, generate creative text, and much more all powered by the latest language models like OpenAI's GPT models, Grok, and others. So let's start configuring our setup for this project. I've left all the links used in this video in the description. Once you download the project, go to the config.yml file and set up the Discord bot token and the application ID. First, let's create an application on the Discord developer portal to get the token and application ID. And don't forget to enable these Discord bot privileged intents, or your bot will not respond when you chat with it. After that, click on Reset Token, enter your Discord password, and then submit to retrieve your bot's token. Return to Visual Studio Code, open your project, and paste the token in the appropriate location. Let's also not forget to get the application ID. You can also set up a status message for your bot by typing it here. If you want to change the other settings, simply edit those parameters. As for me, I'll leave it as it is. And don't forget to set up the channel for your chatbot by getting the channel ID in your Discord server. Now let's create an invite link for the Discord bot we've created and add it to our server before moving on to the next steps. All right, for the chatbot API settings, we'll choose the Grok API, as the company provides a free API with a limit of 30 requests per minute. This is a great option for testing and small-scale projects. If you want to use other API providers, you'll have to pay for their services. After getting the Grok API key, you'll have to put over the line 33. You can also edit the system prompt of your chatbot which will serve as the initial instruction to generate responses. This is essentially like giving your chatbot a personality or defining its behavior based on the prompt you provide. Now for the final touches, open the terminal and install the requirements by running pip install rrequirements.txt. After that, to run your Discord bot online, simply type python chatcord.py and your bot will be live. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video to support the channel and help me continue making more videos like this and even better ones in the future. Now let's test our chatbot, check if it works, and see how it responds. Remember, all the links used in this video are available in the Linkvertise link in the description box below. Enjoy and leave a like in the end.